I mean, we've been calling it the multiverse because there are so many layers to Color Purple. But yes, going from Color Purple, the revival in 2015 when I was 25, to now being in this musical rendition on uh, um, film, um, my confidence has like, grown so much, you know what I mean? And life has changed so much. We've been through a pandemic. I'm a mother now. I'm a wife now. Um, you know, artistically I've grown. Um, and so the things that I've gone through in my personal life has gotten me to this point of having more confidence. And it's no coincidence that I play the most confident person in this movie, which is Sophia. So if you play her, you better go find it real fast. <laughs> Yeah, because I think the last person that played her, that, she, she the did most pretty confident woman in the world. <laughs> yeah, yes. so big shoes, right? Big shoes to fill. I'm very grateful for Miss O. She's had my back the entire time. She's given me great advice. She's held my hand, um, guided me through this process, but also given me the space to do me. I'm really great. I think that's that's a sign of a big, a great leader. Not just trying to take control, but letting people do them. So I'm really grateful for that. There's a line that should have said, "Really, it's not all to pass by the color purple that I noticed." And I think that's what it is about finding the beauty in everything. And so I'm excited for people to find the beauty in everything. I'm excited for people to find their joy. The key to all of this uh, lies with legislation. You know, we as actors can't copyright our faces, can't copyright our voices. Um, it's just, uh, you know, uh, it's just uh, outside of the purview of copyright law because it has to be, uh, you know, man-made. And, you know, uh, somehow we are not man-made, <laughs> perhaps woman-made. But I think that uh, legislation needs to, needs to, to step in and provide for protections for this new technology. The problem is that the technologies always race ahead of the, the lawmakers, and so there's a lag there. But um, it, it's something, you know, this is, uh, you know, these are new frontiers, and I think new regulation is going to be required to really protect people from uh, the exploitation of the hands that wield this technology. You know, we did, we did a little TV show called Westworld about this very thing. You know, <laughs> people uh, may be of the understanding soon that Westworld was act actually a documentary. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it's all happening. Do the best we can, and uh, we all know that story. And, and that's at the center of our <laughs> Well, if you're informed, then you know, speak. Uh, I think we're living now in an incredibly divisive time, in which. Um, People don't necessarily want to have conversations, but they want to have arguments, and they want also to uh, be seen as one side of the argument, as, as a part of a team as opposed to the other team. It's incredibly non-productive right now in, in a way that I haven't experienced in my lifetime. It's so incredibly difficult to have constructive dialogue about difficult issues now and I think the technology that we're all you know too addicted to now is really a much more destructive force than it is constructive so you know nobody wants to solve problems everybody just wants to yell at one another and point the finger of blame and you know we won't get anywhere like that I really do. I think that this film can help you really be a lot gentler on yourself and realize that you don't need everything figured out right away and you can just be a little kinder to yourself and, you know, know that everyone is trying to still figure themselves out, even if you're 11 or 45. <laughs> Well, it's kind of unbelievable, you know, there was this, this um, documentary project, Telemarketers, that Adam Balalo brought to me, and I saw these, like, this box of tapes, and I was like, this is insane, you know, because it already happened to me once before with a documentary I made, Lenny Cook, where a box of tapes was given to me from this old, like, other time, and now here it was again, and then it was just this long process of working with Adam and Sam, trying to figure out how to best tell this story in a way that really could make an impact. And here we are up against the last of us, 
as the best series, <laughs> not documentary, best series. So I find that as a win for me. So that's exciting. I, I just like the way it's like a sweet, like, kind of. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah.